Hey YouTube, we're down in the shop. So now we're going to go through uh, the process of checking all of the fluids in a vehicle. Now each vehicle is different. So today we're gonna go through four different vehicles to give you a good idea of what might be involved with your particular vehicle. Okay, up first here we have a Mercedes Benz. We're gonna go clockwise around this engine bay and check all of the fluids. We'll check everything except for the automatic transmission fluid on this vehicle because it has a special cap on it that if you break it you have to get another one so we won't break that cap to check the automatic transmission fluid but we'll, we'll, we will check all the rest of the fluids the automatic transmission fluid is checked the same way the engine oil is checked you just want to have the engine warm and running when you check it that's the only difference so when we check the oil take note that's the same way you check the transmission fluid just make sure that the engine is running and is warm. So first up, we'll first off we'll go around and, and identify what we're going to check. Then we'll go in closer and actually check all the fluids. So first off, we have the brake fluid, which is located right here. Then we'll come around and we'll check the power steering fluid, which is here. Then we'll check the radiator fluid, which is here. This is the radiator. Then we'll come around to the other side and we will check the engine oil, which is here, and finally we will check the windshield washer fluid, which is here. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here's the brake fluid reservoir. We're going to go ahead and check it. Here's the max line, and here's the min line. Shake it a little bit, and you can see that this is full. You also want to inspect the actual fluid itself. So you take off the cap, like so, take out your screen. See if the screen is clean, it is, and check your fluid to see what it looks like. And this fluid's in good shape, I just changed it. And that's how you check your brake fluid. Now, let's go and check the power. Okay, so now we can check the power steering fluid. It's right here. Now the power steering fluid has the actual measuring right on the cap, the little sticks right on the cap here. So you want to pull it out just like we, you would with oil. Clean it off first so you get a good clean reading. Check that out. Clean. Okay. Put it back in. Screw it down. Then open it back up and take a look at where the fluid is. This one's actually a little bit overfilled. It's not too bad though so I'll leave it. So that's how you check your power steering fluid and this one is full. Good shape. Okay, so now we're ready to check the radiator, the coolant level. So this one you actually have to go around behind it like so to actually see the coolant. And as you look here, there you go. You look right on the side of this coolant reservoir and you can see the level. Let me shake it a little bit. You can see that fluid move and this one is full in good shape and that's how you check your coolant on this vehicle now it's time to check the engine oil and you know a dipstick is right here so you pull it out and you want to clean it off first clean the entire stick holding it down just like that clean it off really good then put it back in for your measure so you put it all the way down pull it out and look at where the level is and this one is really nice, good and full. And you want to make sure that you keep your dipstick pointing down. You want to point it up like that. And then you're going to get dripped down and you're going to get a false reading. So keep your dipstick pointing down when you take your reading for your oil, for your transmission, or for your power steering. And that's how you check your oil. Now we're going to check the windshield washer fluid, which is very important. You want to make sure that's full whenever you check it. Windshield washer fluid is extremely important if you get dirt or mud on your windshield when you're on the road. You need to clean that off so you can see. So I'll show you how to check your windshield washer fluid. You just open it up and feel it. That's how you check it. Here's your windshield washer fluid reservoir. Open it up. Get your windshield washer fluid and pour it in until it's full.
that full, and you're all done. And that's how you check the fluids on this vehicle. Okay, the next car we're going to uh, check the fluids on is a 2012 Infiniti. It's a G37. Uh, I'll give you a little map run of where everything is, and then we'll come in a little bit closer and look at things individually. So over here, right side, we have the brake fluid, which is covered up and you can't see right now. We have the coolant, which has two openings here. We'll look at both of these. Of course, we'll check the oil. Then we'll go around to the other side, and we will check power steering fluid, and of course, the washer fluid. So let's go in and look a little bit closer. Okay, so here we are at the brake fluid. It has these little clips, two of them, that you have to lift up, and then you have access to the brake fluid. This one has a max line right here, as you can see. I don't know if I can move that. You can see the fluid moving. And then you want to take off the cap and check to make sure there's no debris in your little screen filter here. And it's down off in there. And it's good. So that's how you check the brake fluid in this vehicle. And then you just replace your cover. Now we're going to check the coolant on this vehicle. This is the coolant reservoir tank here, and you look at the side here to make sure it's full up to the fill mark on this vehicle. If it's not, you take this cap loose and you pour additional coolant in here. Now when you have access to the radiator directly here, you want to take this loose also. Now whenever you take the radiator cap off, make sure that the vehicle is cool before you do so. And you want to look in there and make sure that there's some fluid filled up. If it isn't, fill it up. And if the fluid is getting low in your actual radiator, that may be an indication that your radiator cap is bad, so you might want to change that. It's always important to, ch to check both when available, because sometimes a bad radiator cap can give you a false reading and make you think that you have enough coolant when you don't, because it's getting hot Bypassing your radiator cap, going through here and filling up your reservoir, making you think you have enough when in actuality your radiator is slowly becoming empty. Now we're going to check the engine oil on this vehicle. It's the same way that we checked it on the Mercedes. Pull out the engine oil dipstick. First thing you do is you want to clean it off so that you have no false readings. You don't fall the oil. Then put it back in, all the way down, and pull it out and see where the engine oil is. And this one is full. Always keep it pointing down so that you don't get oil running back up the dipstick. Then replace it. If your engine oil is low, add little bits of oil at a time, like a fourth of a quart at a time, until it comes within the right range. Adding engine oil is not done through the dipstick. It is done here. You take this cap loose and you add engine oil here. On automatic transmissions, when the transmission fluid is low, you actually add transmission fluid through the dipstick. Now we're going to check the power steering fluid, which is right here. And here's the reservoir. Here's the cold, and here's the hot fill levels. It's cold right now, so this is full to the correct line. Now, if you look at this top, the cap on this particular says use Dexon type ATF, automatic transmission fluid, in your power steering. So this is one of those rare cases where you do use one type of fluid in another system. So read the caps on your reservoirs to see what requirements of fluid that particular system has. And finally, once again, we're going to check the windshield wiper fluid on this vehicle, and it's done the same way. 
Here's the reservoir. You simply open it up. And you pour in washer fluid until it's full. And that's how you check the fluids on an Infiniti. Our third vehicle for the fluid check today is a little Toyota Corolla. We're going to go around and show you where all of the fluid locations are on this vehicle now. The brake fluid is here and the clutch fluid is here. You can't see them because they're down lower. We'll look closely at that when we come in closer. The coolant reservoir is here and the radiator is here. Or on the other side we have the engine oil here and here. Here's the dipstick and here's the fill cap. And down below, you can't see that either, is the uh, power steering. So we'll look at all these a little bit closer so you can actually see them. Let's go over here and take a closer look at where the brake fluid and clutch fluid is on this vehicle. This first one here is the brake fluid, and this farther one is the clutch fluid. Brake fluid and clutch fluid are the same. You put the same fluid in both. So to check them, take it off, look here, and you can see this is full. It also has a fill line on the side that you can look at. So here we are looking at the brake and the clutch. Here's the brake reservoir. Here's the clutch reservoir. And if you look closely, you can see the fill max level right here. That's how full this reservoir should be. Take off the cap. You can see that it's full. And both the, the uh, brake and clutch take the same type of fluid. This one is full as well. And that is how you check your brake fluid and your clutch fluid. Next up is the coolant. We have the coolant overflow here and here's the full line marked in red. You can see that the actual coolant is a little bit down in here, but it's in a, within the range. Shake it here, you can see. You also want to always check your radiator. When you have a radiator cap, make sure the engine is cool. Open your cap and see what the level is in your radiator. You should be able to see the fluid fill full in your radiator. If not, as we said before on the Infinity, your radiator cap may need to be replaced or you may have a leak if your radiator is not full. Next we're going to check the engine oil. There's the engine oil dipstick and fuel cap. So, put this here and we'll pull out the dipstick, clean it off before you check it so you have a false reading, stick it back in, all the way down, pull it out keeping the dipstick pointing down, and then look at the level. And this one looks to be full. If your oil is not completely full, remove your oil cap and you fill here. Use about a fourth, a fourth of a quart at a time so that you don't overfill your so you don't overfill your engine with oil. And then check the level again. 